Let's see if we can't use a pick here. Well, we do have a Masters. We may as well. I mean, it's 90. Few are this high. Oh, got it in one. Nice. And let's probe it. Nice. Got it in one. Look, this guy is just watching as his door as his vault gets robbed. What a damn idiot. <laughs> you idiots! You idiots! Hey gang, what's good? Welcome back to Morrowind Mondays. We're back here on another fantastic Monday. Wow, I hope you're having a good one. I hope you had a good weekend. Wow. Alright, well, let's get off to exactly where we were. But before, actually, before we do that, I should say... Wow, I did a little bit of uh, inventory management, a little bit of inventory management just before uh, we uh, ended the last one, and uh, most notably, besides you know the usual rigmarole, I got Kajito Vision. Look, coming to you live. Morrowind Mondays coming to you live in stunning Kajito Vision. Bam! Everything looks like it's in Fallout New Vegas. It's weird. Everything has like a little yellowy orange tint almost. Or maybe maybe you could construe it as almost a green one. In which case, Fallout 3. Wow. <laughs> okay. Sharn Gramu's gob. Great understanding. Welcome. You see I have great understanding. Okay. Again? Is this about the errand you are doing for me? I can't remember her voice. It was something ridiculous, wasn't it? <laughs> this is why professional voice actors have like a uh, a, a voice director, right? Anyway, is this about the errand you are doing for me? Yeah. Very good. I'll just take that skull from you. Perfect for what I have in mind. Yeah, definitely not necromancy. Now, thank you. Now, as I promised, I'll answer your questions on the Nervarine cult. Go ahead. All right. This Ashlander cult believes the long-dead hero, Nerevar, will be reborn to honor ancient promises to the tribes. According to legend, the prophesied, uh, prophesied Nerevarine will cast down the false gods of the Tribunal Temple, restore the traditional ancestor worship practiced by the Ashlanders, and drive all Outlanders from Morrowind. Both Temple and Empire outlaw the cult. But it persists among the Ashlanders, who care little for imperial or temple law. Here, take this copy of my notes on the topic for Caius. Hmm, okay. Let's see if we can't ask about Nerevar. Nerevar is a First Age hero of the Dunmer people. He was a great general and leader. He helped form the First Council and united the Dunmer houses against foreign invaders aided by the traitors of House Dagoth. He triumphed over Morrowind's enemies at Red Mountain, but died in the battle. And what about the Nerevarin? The Ashlanders have a prophecy that the legendary hero Nerevar will be reborn. They call this reincarnated hero the Nerevarin. Yeah, we've picked up pretty much uh, all this throughout our travels. Anyway, let's see. Can we ask about Errand again? Yes, yes, you've completed the Errand, and I'm quite satisfied. Duties. Speak with a Jira. Oh, that's for the Mages Guild, right? <laughs> okay. Well, let's read this book, I guess. Shit, why not? Let's do it. Uh, four suitors. Uh, we need to sell these. I almost forgot. I, I have these on me to sell because they are duplicates. Let's see. Well, shit, where- is this it? Oh, yeah, it's a- it literally is a scrawling of notes. Ooh, gosh, it's huge. The following are notes from Sharn Gra Musgab to Caius Cassades. The Nerevarine coat cult. The cult. It's a gun. The Nerevarine's gun. Bang! The Ashlander religious cult follows prophecies of a Nerevar reborn to honor ancient promises to the tribes. To reestablish what is this, the preamble to the US Constitution? To reestablish the traditions of the Prophet Veloth. Good god, that was awful. To cast down the false gods of the Tribunal Temple, and to drive all outlanders from Morrowind. We heard about this. Both Temple and uh, Empire outlaw. Yeah, we know. The Nerevarine. The Ashlanders firmly believe the Nerevarine will return. Oh, this is different. To return to restore the glories of ancient Resdane. Morrowind was called Resdane before the Imperial occupation. The Ashlanders say the Great Houses and the Temple have abandoned the pure teachings of the Prophet Veloth forsaking ancestor worship for the false gods of the tribunal 
and embracing the comforts of civilization that corrupted the High Elves. The Temple, on the other hand, venerates St. Nerevar, but rejects the disgusting notion that the false incarnate will walk the earth like a ghoul. Oh man, fucking smooth skin. Nerevar. The Temple honors St. Nerevar as the greatest Dunmer general, first counselor, and companion of Vivek, Almalexia, and Sothasil, who united the Dunmer houses to destroy the evil Dwemer, the treacherous House Dagoth, and their western allies at Red Mountain. But the Ashlanders say Nerevar promised to honor the ancient spirits and the tribal law, and that he will come again to honor that promise. To the Ashlanders, this means destroying the false temple and driving the Imperial invaders from the land. And the Nerevarine prophecies, dream visions and prophecies are a respected tradition in Ashlander culture. Their wise women and shamans take careful note of dreams and visions and pass on the tribe's legacies of vision and prophecy to their successors. By contrast, the temple and the western faiths are suspicious of mysticism. Oh, that's why it's not in the future games. <laughs> and they regard interpretation of dreams and visions as primitive superstition. The most common version of the Nerevarine prophecy is the stranger. <laughs> like the <laughs> Yeah, the Nerevarine just sits on his hand and goes at <laughs> Bam! Nerevar! <laughs> the verses are obscure, as are most prophecies, but two observations are in order. First, many less well-informed scholars assume that the phrase journeyed far neath moon and star is just a cliché to suggest a very long journey, but the Nerevar of legend was known to possess a magical ring named one clan under moon and star, upon which Nerevar is supposed to have sworn his promise to honor ancient Ashlander traditions and land rights. Second, the reference to seven curses must certainly refer to the lost prophetic verses known to the Ashlanders as the seven curses, the stranger. Oh, this is like a little tale poem. Is this a poem? Oh, I don't think so. I mean, it might be. Yeah, it's definitely a poem, but it's not like, it doesn't have a, a nice rhyme to it. When earth is sundered and skies choked black, and sleepers serve the seven curses, to the hearth there comes a stranger, journeyed far neath moon and star. Though stark born in sire uncert to sire uncertain, his aspect marks his certain fate. Wicked stalk him, righteous curse him. Prophets speak, but all deny. Many trials may make manifest the stranger's fate, the curse's bane. Many touchstones try the stranger. Many fall, but one remains. Oh, shit. Lost prophecies. Ashlander elders complain of prophecies which have been lost to tribal memory due to the carelessness or ineptitude of earlier generations of wise women in Ashkans. Suspicious scholars wonder whether these prophecies might have been deliberately forgotten or suppressed. Three Nerevarine prophecies in particular are said to have been lost. One, the lost prophecies while aptly named. Two, the seven curses. And three, seven visions of seven trials of the incarnate. Perhaps these lost prophecies will someday be found, either in forgotten accounts written by literate travelers or in the memories of isolated Ashlanders, or in the secret traditions of the wise women and shamans. Wow! Oh my gosh! Well, that's a whole lot of just like foreshadowing to uh, everything that's going to happen. Holy wackadoo. It's got to be said about um, the writing in Morrowind. It's very, it's done very um, matter-of-factly. There's very little subtlety to it, you know? Like it... It's almost like, um, probably also lends, lend it to the, the way that it's delivered to you via the dialogue system. It feels a lot like you get information in big bursts of it, like you're reading a wiki. Like, playing the game is almost just like going through and reading a wiki in and of itself. 
Anyway, Caius Cassades. I'd be happy to talk. I'd long to call pleasure. you Cassades, but that is not the proper way. All right, what's up, Nip Man? Are you here to discuss your orders, Lyle, or is there something else you want? Yes, the orders. And these are Sharn's notes on the Nerverine cult. Excellent. Excellent. I'm promoting you to Blade's Apprentice, Lyle. I'd like some time to think how this fits in the Emperor's plans for you. So if you'd like to get in a little freelance adventuring, go ahead. But whenever you're ready, I'll have new orders for you. All right, yeah, I've done a lot of freelance adventuring, Caius. Let's just get, uh, let's get this out of the way. Well, let's first ask about being a Blade's Apprentice. I'm promoting you to Apprentice rank, effective immediately. And here's a little present. Two spell scrolls. The Divine Intervention will recall you to the nearest Imperial Shrine, and the Elm CV Intervention will recall you to recall you the nearest temple. They come in handy for a quick getaway. No, no, Lyle. No thanks needed. You're doing great work. Now get out of here and let me read. <laughs> what the hell? All right. Uh, let's see. Orders. I want orders first before I leave. I've thought it over, and I... Wow, he thought it over pretty quick. I want you to interview three informants in Vivic City concerning the Nerevreen and the Sixth House. First, I want you to speak with... Adhira Ranir. Adhira Ranir. A Khajiit Thieves Guild operative. Second, I want you to speak with Hulia, an Argonian in the Morag Tongue. Finally, I want you to speak with Mera Milo, a temple priestess. Here, I've written the details down. So you won't forget. And here are 200 drakes for bribes and other expenses. Mm. All right. Let's see. Let's ask about each of them. Let's ask about Adhiranir. Adhiranir is a Khajiit and a Thieves Guild operative. You'll find her in St. Olm's Canton in Vivek. Be careful what you say and use common sense. People in the Cantons are suspicious of outsiders. You may have to win or purchase their confidence. All right, and we've already asked about the Thieves' Guild and other organizations when we first met Caius. So let's go with... Hulia. Hulia is an Argonian and a Morong Tong uh, assassin. You'll find him in Vivek at the Black Shulk Corner Club in the lower wasteworks of the Foreign Quarter. In addition to his other skills, Hulia is also known around Vivek City as a student of history and a lover of books and old things. And what about Mayra? Mayra Milo is a temple priestess who works in the libraries at the Hall of Wisdom and Justice. She's a friend, so be careful and don't get her in trouble. The temple is suspicious of outlanders and wouldn't be happy to find Mayra talking with you about religious matters. She'll be easy to spot. Look for the priestess with the copper hair and copper eyes. Jeez, are you coming on to her? Maybe that's why... Mm, I don't know about... <laughs> Caius! Come on! All right. Well, let's head on out. Jeez. Yeah, we got to definitely be careful, Caius, because you never know. The temple is always watching. Whoever the fucking arch patron, arch canon of the temple is, good lord, they must be a real fucking asshole, huh? They must be. We got to watch out for them. Isn't that right, Selville Serloth? Let's head on out to Vivek. You know, while we're out here at Vivek Land... We ought to go uh, do that turn-in for the mine quest, you know? Why? Whoa, we can get our nice bow. Now let's quick save here, just in case something goes horrifically wrong. We'll probably fall through the city again in some strange area that, for whatever reason, lets us just clip right through whenever we walk on top of it. Let's see. Where do we need to actually go for this? Let's see. Um, let's bring up Ebony Mine. Ebony mail. No. Nope. Quests. Let's see. Should be the Vasir Dinadat mine or something. I'm not a necromancer. <laughs> Alright, the drunken... No. Huh. None of it's here. Is it just an unmarked quest, perhaps? Let's see. Topics. Vasir... Yeah, there we go. Vasir Dinadat. Oh, great. There's nothing here about it. What the hell? All right. Well, we may be able to, because we're doing this in an odd way, we may be able to just head on over there. Let's see. I actually wrote it down a while ago in my handy-dandy notebook who we're, who we're supposed to look for. Let's see. 
All right. Okay. Dram Barrow at the Haunted Manor. Well, for fuck's sake, where the hell is the Haunted Manor at? Good job, past me. Really getting my facts in a freaking line here. Let's see. Could be at, um... Oh, no, wait. Look, I actually did write it down, I think. Oh, no, never mind. I'm dumb. <laughs> well, let's just get these uh, informants out of the way. One of them is actually at the foreign quarter, right? Yeah. Let's do that. Let's make sure here. Um, let's see. Foreign quarter, yeah. Hulia. Okay. Yeah, we'll check in with Hulia. Maybe the haunted manor will be in this one. If not, we'll go through each one. Let's see. Lower Waste Works, was it, I think? Let's double check here. Black Shawl Corner Club. Yeah, I think we've seen that place before. Let's see. Foreign Court, no. Fletcher. Okay. Let's, oh, sorry, sorry, sir. Can I just... Come on, I'm, I'm like, above you. Oh, Canal Works. Let's see, let's consult the local map. Hmm, Fletcher, no, no. Enchanter, no. Where is the Black Shawl Corner Club? Maybe it's on the top floor. Well, oh, is this it? Oh, there we go. Wow, okay. Holy wackadoo. Well, let's head on inside. See, there's the Black Shawl. I wonder if there's a different colored shawl kit somewhere. Hmm, I don't know. Let's quick save in case this goes poorly. Look, that's probably the person right there. What do you think? Who do you think these folks are? Into... These folks are all probably Morag Tong, right? Get get out of our way, Enwa! We got issues with this filthy lizard here. Oh shit, okay, I remember this, I think. Filthy lizard. His kind aren't welcome here. He belongs in the swamp with the rest of them. Oh shit, some good old fashioned Morrowind racism. Alright. Let's ask about Hmm. Should we just ask about Oh, we can't even ask about Filthy lizard, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's talk is to the filthy lizard. I look, everyone is here being intimidating as hell, like, trying to look at him. What's up, Julia? I welcome you as the friend of my friend, Lyle. But I wish to go to my friend's bookstore. And these troublesome fools are in the way. I have tried to persuade them, but they hate my race. And I fear there will be violence. Perhaps if you speak with them. But be careful. And be ready. Oh, tell me about your friend's bookstore. Is it? Yep. My friend Jobasha, the Khajiit, has a bookstore. Jobasha's rare books. If you will agree to travel together with me there, I will answer your questions. But before we go, I beg you to try and persuade these troublesome fools to leave us alone. Otherwise, I fear they will attack us the moment we go to leave. Oh no! Alright, tell me about Jobasha. Jobasha is a friend of mine, a Khajiit. He owns Jobasha's Rare Books, which has a wide selection of rare and obscure books. He has very passionate moral and political views, which he shares freely. As a result, he and his bookshop arouse strong feelings in some quarters. Hmm. Alright, Jobasha's Rare Books. Jobasha's Rare Books is a bookshop with a wide... <laughs> Fuck me. He was really telling the company line, huh? Uh, wide selection of rare and obscure books. My friend Jobasha, a Khajiit, is the owner. <laughs> the shop here is in Vivek's Foreign Quarter, and the Lower Waste Works on the same level as the Black Shawl Corner Club, but down at the end of the West Corridor. Okay. Tell me about these troublesome fools. Do you notice how I just stopped reading in his stupid voice? The sight of a free Argonian offends these racist thugs. It would tarnish my Murang Tong, my Murang Tong honor to slay them. I don't know what his accent is, but he's got one for sure. And I don't want to trouble my friend, Saralis Gomis, by fighting in his club. But I must go to my friend's bookstore, where we can talk in peace. If you have a way with words, perhaps you can talk to them. Or if you have a way with money, they might be bought. Otherwise, I fear there must be bloodshed. Oh, shit. And his friend's bookstore, yep. It's Jobasha the Khajiit. He, he said Jobasha's rare books. Yes, For so fuck's man. sake. All what right. Let's see. You troublesome fool. Am I talking to you, Fetcher? No, I'm talking to the Filthy Lizard, so push off. The Filthy Lizard? Blah, blah, blah. He can stay here forever for all I care. Not my problem. Huh. 
Was Well, that was pretty easy. Was that it? I spoke with the troublesome fools bothering Hulia, and they have agreed to leave him alone. Oh, wow. <laughs> Do you have any... All right, all right. Who gives a damn about a filthy lizard anyway? Get, uh, get out of here. We won't bother you. Look, just keep them lizards away from me, and everything will be just fine. <laughs> There's lizard people walking around. When the, when the moon comes out at night, the lizard people walk. If you don't get lost, I'm going to hit you and that filthy lizard so hard that when you finally hit the ground, your clothes will be out of style. <laughs> I love it! Orphan Defor! Holy shit! Hit me with the hard facts! What do you have to say, Raril Giral? Uh, let's see, do you have anything to say about this filthy lizard? Gosh. No? Nothing? Okay. Fair enough, what about troublesome fools? Do you have anything to say about some tr No! Wow, this guy's just staying completely neutral and out of it. He's just, please get out of here, I don't want any part of it. Please, please. Yes. Let's see. Alexander. What do you all Alexander. have to say? Do you have anything to say? It's not so bad when you know your way around, Lyle. What are you looking for in Vivek? Do you have anything to say about a filthy lizard? No? Don't you think he's filthy up there? Don't you think that innocent man up there is very filthy? What about you, Hilf the Harrier? I'm CV, Lyle. I'm Hilf the Harrier. Don't worry. Vivek can be confusing for us. And we live here. <laughs> yeah. Is there something, some specific place you want or someone in particular you're trying to find. No, not really. I mean, have you heard about Jobash's rare books? Oh, it's in the foreign quarter? Oh, you don't say. Uh, let's see, anything else? No? No one else wants to talk about some filthy lizards. Okay, well, let's go then, my, my friend and filthy lizard. We shall, we have been given free passage by these terrible racists. Are we ready to travel together to Jobash's rare books? When we arrive at my friend's bookstore, I will answer your questions there. What do you actually sell? Oh, okay. Uh, let's travel together. Will you travel together with me to Jobash's rare books? Uh, we leave through the door to the foreign quarter wasteworks, turn right, west, continue down the hall, and across the atrium on the same level. Then what the fuck? Who talks like this? Hulia, what the hell are you? Then follow the opposite corridor west on the other side of the atrium all the way back, all the way to Jabasha's door. I must warn you, unless these troublesome fools are persuaded to behave like civilized beings, there may be a fighting and killing if we try to travel together. Uh, yes, please follow me to Jabasha's rare books. Thank you, Lyle. I will follow you to Jabasha's rare books, and we will speak further there. Okay. Three blessings. Sarah. Oh, look! Hulia! They've given us their blessings. Each one has given us a blessing, and that's three. <laughs> Don't you feel great, Julia? Wow. Yeah, that's right. You guys better watch out. I got a Gordon. I don't know. Where... Did you hear that? Gordon is somewhere. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Gordon. You're so late to the party. Uh, maybe they were talking about Gordon. He is kind of a lizard, isn't he? Oh, Jesus. Look, we've got two lizard dudes with us of different brands, two different kinds. Man. I'm going right here. Dang it, Gordon is really screwing him over. Jeez, aren't you excited, Julia? Look, we're going all the way down to your friend's bookshop. And you know what? We have a blessing from three racists. Doesn't that make you feel great? <laughs> it sure... <Praise laughs> fuck them. <Nathan. laughs> Honestly, fuck them. All right, let's go, Julia. Don't worry, I got you, pal. Let's see. Oh, oh, gosh, Julia. Yes. Thank you very much. We should be free from distraction here. Now, I said I'd tell you about the Nerevirin cult, so you can report back to Caius. And I don't know of any Sixth House cult, but I can tell you what I do know. All right, Julia, tell me what you know. Tell me about it all. Tell me about the Nerevirin cult. To understand the Nerevarin cult, you must understand the history of the Ashlanders. Nereva means something very different to the Ashlanders from what he means to Dunmer of the Great Houses. You should also know about the persecution of the Nerevarin and the legacy of the false incarnate. For the Nerevarine cult is at the heart of the ancient conflict between 
the nomadic Ashlanders, and the settled Great House, Dunmer. Here is a summary for Caius, but ask your questions, and I'll answer in detail. Oh, thank goodness, Haley. I'm glad your accent came back, too. I was getting a little worried. Let's see. Tell me about the history of the Ashlanders. In the First Era, the nomadic Ashlanders and the settled Dunmer clans were much alike. But after the first <laughs> But after the first council they were much alike. The first council and the formation of the great great houses. Ashlanders have been steadily forced into the poorest and most hostile lands. Now the nomadic tribes look to the prophesied return of Nerva for a restoration of their ancient rites and religious traditions. Hmm, sounds like the Ashlanders got a fucking bad deal. All right, tell me more about them. The Ashlanders hate the House Dunmer, who have become soft and who have abandoned traditional ancestor worship for the gods of the tribunal. And the Ashlanders hate Outlanders, who invaded and stole their land, and forced them to live as subject people. A reborn Nereva who could drive out the Outlander invaders, destroy the, fa the false worship of the tribunal, and restore the pure traditional life and faith of the nomads, would be a very popular hero to the Ashlanders. Okay, wow. You're, you sound kind of sexy there, Julia. Uh, let's talk about the Great Houses. What do you have to say about them? We're already pretty fucking familiar with them. I mean, Julia, are you sure about House Redoran, though? Maybe you want to take back your words on Redoran. They seem like pretty good dudes. In modern times, Morrowind is ruled by five Great Houses. House Lalu, House Redoran. <laughs> he sounds like that fucking guy from the Star Wars prequels. That little ugly snout man. House Delvani, House Sindoril, and House Dres. Great House's culture is partly defined by its roots in ancient Dunmer tribal clans, and partly by later imperial influences from western cultures. The Great House's culture is only one of the native Dunmer cultures of Morrowind. On the other native culture, the Ashlander culture, is a nomadic barbarian culture largely untouched by imperial influences. All right. Let's see, what else do we have to talk about? We talked about the Great Houses. How about the persecution of the Nerevarine? What do you have to say about that, Julia? Fuck me, this was a big fucking mistake, honestly. <laughs> the temple treats the Nerevarine prophecies as heresy. And the temple imprisons and executes heretics, unless prevented by imperial law. But since the Nerevarine cult is hostile to the Empire, the Empire does not interfere when the Temple persecutes the cult. Ashlanders hate the Temple, and particularly the Ordinators, for their ruthless treatment of Nerevarine cultists. Hmm, okay. Let's see, how about the False Incarnate? This is the last thing we have to ask him. In the past, some have claimed to be the reincarnated Nerva. The most recent is known as Peakstar, a figure of legend among the Wastes tribes for the last 30 years. The temple says these false incarnates disprove the prophecies, since the false incarnates fail and come to nothing. But the mystical Nerevarine cult glorifies rather than shrinks from contradictions, citing the appearance of failed incarnates as certain proof of Nerevar's coming rebirth. Alright, wow, holy shit. 
Good to hear about. Let's see, you don't have anything else? Okay. Wow. Great. Yes. Jesus, he's inside of us. Wow. The voice actually wasn't that far off. Man, holy shit. They sound weird, don't they? Oh, look at Julia go. Look at him go, striding his stuff. Oh. Wait. I guess he just lives here now. Oh. Whew. There's an ordinator in here. Praise Vivek, yes. All right. Joe Basha, what do you have to say? What can Joe Basha... No, we're not doing that. Fuck that. Julia... Julia is here! Yes, he is! Julia is here! Oh, do you have to, anything to say about the twin lamps? Hmm. They are a brotherhood of fellow abolitionists. If Jobasha asks, Have you seen the twin lamps? You say, They light the way to freedom. Ah, ha, 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 ho! Ho, ho! Jobasha! Laying us down with some abolitionist info. Damn. Hell yeah, Jobasha. Sign me up. All right. Let's head on out of here, and who's next on the list? Yes, I don't know. I guess it depends on the uh, location we've still got. Let's see. Pop open the uh, old quest journal here. Wow, we got a lot of updates for <laughs> racist. <laughs> yeah, they were very racist. Let's see. Argonian, uh, a temple, priestess at the Hall of Wisdom. Okay. When I have information about the Nervarine cult, yep. Yeah. Adhir Rainier. At, uh, St. Olms. Okay, we'll check St. Olms. But before we go there, we're going to check the top area of this. Oh, you know what? I know exactly where that fucking person is for the Vasir Dinadat. They're part of House Lalu. That's the whole point of that mine, is that you're giving it to House Lalu or whatever. I mean, consider this like a peace offering, House Lalu. I hate you, but consider this a peace offering. Maybe that's why we didn't get the quest update, because we're, we're, the, <laughs> we're the head of House Redoran. I'm pretty sure they're at the top of, um, the Hlalu Canton. I don't know really what we're doing up here now that we've uncovered that. I've just kind of absentmindedly wandered up here, not really thinking, just saying words, going about and doing things automatically. I don't know. Let's get out of here. What am I doing? Jesus, someone save me. Gordon! Gordon, help me! You have to be my secretary. Tell me what I'm doing. Good God, I'm getting all topsy-turved like nobody's business. All right, let's see. What is closest? Where is the, uh, Hlalu? Oh, it's right over there. Okay, let's go see Hlalu. Here, let's turn on... There we go. Mario time, baby. We're just gonna jump it. Woo! Oh, shit. We're, we're really jumping it. Oh, no! Turn back! Turn back! No! No! Oh, fuck! Oh, Jesus! What happened? Oh, shit. I forgot. I don't have on my good amulet. I took it off to, uh... Summon a golden saint and get a soul, because we found a grand soul gem somewhere. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Shit me, alright? Shit on me. Okay, let's get on up here. Let's just jump it. Oh, 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 there we go. Nice. Nailed it. There we go. Whew, man, we are, that would have been real fucking bad if we did that jumping it. Oh, who's this? It's Vedran Balen. I'm CV Lyle. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah, who who are you? Oh, you're some kind of sneak thief. Background? He's an assassin and retainer of the Great House Lalu. Okay. Don't you try and kill me or something. Or steal my goods. I've got a lot of them. Oh, this is the wrong area. We gotta go all the way up to the tippy tippy top. I thought that was it for some weird ass reason. Alright. Let's do it, baby. Here we go, in the plaza. Fantastic. We're going to claim our bow, hopefully. Let's see. For some reason, there's a man living in a haunted house. Weaponsmith. What is that? A brass tankard? It doesn't look like one. It looks like a gold bar. Alright. No name club? No. A girl has no name, right? <laughs> Let's see. Pawnbroker. Alchemist. Curio Manor. Elven Nations Corner Club. Well, where the hell is the abandoned one? Do we need to actually look at all the doors? No name club? Let's see. Did I write this down? Haunted Manor? Yeah. That's where it's supposed to be. Jeez, maybe I got it mixed up. Maybe it's actually not in the Hlalu Lands. By the way, check out this. We must have been here before. Let's quick save and see if we can't just nab these real quick. Look at this. We got some loot loots just, like, standing around here. Holy crap. Alright. Let's see. Does it, Maybe it's on the exterior. Let's see. 
haunted something or the other. We've seen it before. I just don't remember exactly where it is. You don't think it's at the foreign quarter? That would have been that would be real fucked up. Look at that. We're drinking potions when we probably shouldn't be. Let's see. Haunted the treasury. Shit, should we like check out their treasury real quick? I mean, they're going to give us some stuff anyways. We may as well just check out their treasury just I mean, you know, we'll just have a look. Let's just have a look real quick. I mean, when in when we're here, you know, it'd be a damn shame not to, right? Who are you? I'm sure you have some questions. What would you like to know? Yes. Can I have all of your money, please? Quick save. Is there something you need? Let's see. Oh, the Hlalu records. No, I just want the treasures that something? are in the treasury. Oh, okay. I guess. Oh, down here. Oh, the vaults. Oh, okay. Oh, oh no. Fuck the glass tower shield. Oh, the glass everything. For fuck's sake. Good God. This is what we get. Ugh. All right, finally. Yes. yes so. Look at that. What, do you want? what a bunch of a-holes. Greetings. Okay. I am at your yes, service. Let's what see. Can we, want? like, sneak in here and grab some shit? Because I kind of want to. Let's see. Where is our... We need to remember to re-equip our uh, actual good thing. Amulet of Shadows. Bam. Nope, not stealth yet. Let's let's try a chameleon ring as well. I got to kill that one. There we go. Nice. Alright. Cool. Our shit, we are in stealth mode. We're going to try it. Let's see if we can't use a pick here. Oh, we do have a master's. We may as well. I mean it's 90. Few are this high. Oh, got it in one. Nice. And let's probe it. Nice. Got it in one. Look, this guy is just watching as his do as his vault gets robbed. What a damn idiot. <laughs> you idiots. You idiots. <laughs> Look at this. Master Thief. Lyle. Strikes again. <laughs> stupid Hlalu. Stupid, stupid Hlalu. <laughs> Look at all this. Wild Viper Blade. Oh, shit. It is wild. Look at all this. Oh, man. We're still in Viz. Let's quick save here. Look, is this a rare artifact, actually? Oh, it's just an Orcish Warhammer. All right, we're just going to yoink all this real quick. Here, we're going to do it like this because time is paused. Look at how smart this is. Man. Yeah, time is paused right now, so we don't even have to worry about our shit wearing off. Look at that. Ingenious. Truly the works of a master thief. Look, the Halalu Vault's ledger. Let's read it. This book contains meticulous records of all commerce and transactions via the Halalu Vaults, as well as an up-to-date account of the current inventory. Yeah, sure. Maybe someone should update it and say that there's nothing in here anymore, because fucking the scoundrel master thief Lyle Schnub has been on the fucking case. Grab some gold. What else? More gold. Yes, please. Let's quick save again in case this thing wears off. Who knows when it will happen, and if it does, when we're looting, it's gonna be real fucking bad. It's gonna be a bad look. We're gonna be caught with our hands in the cookie jar for sure. Alright, let's see. Man, look at all this. Lightweight loot. Just what I like. Chest of fire. What? An ebony short sword? Sure. I don't want the chest of fire, though. It looks kinda shit. Why would I want that? Worst case scenario, it's like a quest diamond. We can just come back for it later. Let's see. Ebony shit? Look, take all. Yes, please. Look at all this. Dire shit? Look at this. This is worthless. How slowly? What are you even doing? There we go. A collegiate ring. I don't know what that means, but I want it. A wild sty ring. Ooh, okay. We're getting wild. What else have we got? What, ebony mace? Can we even carry that? Just barely. Look, we're going to have to take a slurp of some sujama. Slurping on some of that suge. Hell yeah. Take all that. Oh, God, it scared me. <laughs> Instant karma. All right. Look, more gold. Look at all this. Ring of shadow form. Man, it's pretty shitty value. Another collegiate ring. A glass viper sword. Sure. Uh, let's see. Wild sty. Sure. Look, we don't want any of those other things. Another glass spark sword. Sure. These are all shitty ones. Wild sty, why not? And sure, we'll take all that. Nice! Well, thank you, House Lalu, for all you have done. You've yes, been great. Peace!
Well, I'll out! Never far out, baby! Woo! What do you Give need? me them blessings, baby! Look, they can even see me now. <laughs> They're like, where'd all our shit go? Well, it definitely wasn't the Nerevar. <laughs> I guess they don't know it's it's me yet. Spoilers. Wink. It's the worst kept secret in Morrowind, huh? All right, let's head on out to the Waste Works. Well, I think that was certainly fucking worth it, huh? Even if we didn't get our fantastic woot loot. Jeez. Here, we, we should probably hurry up to the uh, top level and sell this shit off before we get weighed down in a major fucking way, huh? Good lord, it's about to happen. I can feel it coming. It's it's happening soon. The Corner Club, no. The Alchemist, no. Curio Manor, no. Pawn... Oh, we can do that. We'll do some pawnbroking real quick. We'll sell it at a loss. Because we've got so much money. I just like the thrill of uh, stealing, honestly. What? Oh my god, you're awful. Are you for real? You've only got 200 gold? I thought House Lalu were supposed to be a bunch of pimps or something. What is this? Oh, great. <laughs> All right. Look, we're drinking the Sujama. There we go. Who doesn't love a good Suj? All right, let's see. Please have, like, at least... Oh, my God. You're worthless. Jesus, what can we sell him? Can we sell him anything? Do you want some of the... God, it's so valuable. It's really valuable stuff. I don't want to give it to you for nothing. Come on, man. Make me a deal. Let's see. Maybe we'll just sell one thing. That way we can have our weight down enough. Let's see. What's our heaviest fucking thing? Let's get rid of this ebony longsword. There. Do you like that? <laughs> Jesus, he's... He's gonna be re <laughs> Fuck it. We're doing it. What? Oh, no. He knew. Oh, shit. Son of a butt. Well, shit, let's reload then. Jesus Christ, we can't have that. Look at this, we have to go all the way back to this to get the shit back? Jesus Christ, how Slalu strikes again. I didn't suspect that this guy would know, but I guess it kind of fucking makes sense, doesn't it? Man, we're gonna need to find a proper fence then, aren't we? We're gonna have to speed steal all of this shit. Look at this, we're, are we still in Viz? Let's check, yeah, we are. All right, entering sneak mode, sneak mode activate, bam. Take all that shit. Give me that. Real fast. Yoink. Already yoinked that. Yoinking all this. Yoinking around. The Christmas tree. Look at all this. Look, I, I think we even forgot this last time. Check this shit out. Man, pretty dope. Nice. Jinking it up, baby. Alright, what have we got in here? A whole bunch of shit. Glass shit. Yeah, I'll take that. Hop toad ring. That's pretty it's got some value to it. Look, we've got some new random loot, in fact. Maybe this will have been worth it. All that, take all. Look. Holy shit, a Daedric Steph! It was worth it! And a Mer Merizen Curass! <laughs> Jesus, alright, we're taking it. What's all this? Whole bunch of shit? Sure. Look at all this. Ebony War Axe. Yes, please. Shit, we're weighed down. Here. I mean, this is sus... This is to be expected, right? Look at this. What else have we got? Nine hundo? Another nine hundo? Look at all this. Look at these. Jeez. Do we want any of these? Maybe we want some of these. I have a new plan. The plan is to just... Like, warp on out of here with all this woot loot. But we're gonna warp back to uh, old Balizra and stash it there. Look at this. Fucking, the Master Thief strikes again. Out of incompetence. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can't actually make yes, it out of here it to uh, a good place. Yes, it is. What do you think? I'm glad that the citizen. doors actually don't uh, activate them, you know, getting pissed as hell. Do the records have anything worth taking? Let's just check that real quick. Let's see. Let's quick save as well in case we get caught. In case someone is like. A fucking Please, spy agent and knows that we're up to no damn good. Please, you know what? If they if they know that much, they're pretty fucking keen, aren't they? To tell that old Lyle the Scoundrel has been here and been uh, stealing a lot of shit. All right, I think we're safe, and I don't think there's anything worthwhile in any of that fucking place. Let's run over to the Black Shulk real quick and, and buy all of their alcohol. Oh shit, that's not where he lives at all. Where the hell are we? Oh yeah, we're in uh, Lalu Land, of course. We'll head on up to the, um, to that inn up, up there and buy a whole bunch of Sujama. And we're gonna do a super Sujama run. Man. Feels good to be stealing again. 
It's I don't even need to steal it, but I just have to. I can't stop myself. I've got like this fucking thief's instinct. Good lord. Oh look, a corner club. Yeah, that's what we need. Elven Nation's corner club. Look, I'm I'm a dark elf. Sure. Is there something you need? Shit, let's quick save in case she'll tell, like, hmm, you seem to be buying a lot of Sujama. Are you carrying a lot of illicit goods? And she arrests me. Citizens arrest! I'm arresting you, Lyle! Look, we're buying all of that shit. Gimme it. Yes. Alright. There we go. Look, we're over encumbered. But who gives a butt? Check it out. We got mud stay forever. Oh look, we're gonna have to actually drink two of them. There we go. Alright. Whew! Let's see if we can't knock out one of these other informants before we head out. Let's see. Uh, St. Olms. Where is St. Olms at? Let's check. Uh. St. Olms, St. Olms, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when I steal from you? There you are. Alright. Let's see. Why is this not pinned? Let's see. There we go. And let's Mario time all the way over there. St. Ohms, here we come! Woo! Please don't fucking crash. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> please don't. All right, there we go. Let's see. Um, Let's see. We need to get mana. Shit, that was the wrong fucking one again. We're just wasting all of these. We're wasting them all. St. Ohms, be the one! Is this... Nope, this is the arena. What the? Which one is St. Olm's? That's Telvani. Oh, it must be down one. Okay, fair enough. Yup. There we go. Yeah, the St. Olm's one has a little dude out front. Oh shit, we don't have our good uh, amulet equipped, do we? Let's see. Of both worlds. There we go. It did actually equip it, right? Yeah, there we go. Nice. Whew, good thing we noticed it there and not when some other horrific thing may occur. Alright, St. Olm's. Uh, let's check up top first and see if that haunted manor is up here. Because that would be really good to knock out the haunted manor real quick. Let's see. Haunted manor, are you up here? Ingling manor? Oh, there we go! Haunted manor! Awesome! Sweet! So now we can just warp back with our... Oh, shit. We can just warp back with our Daedric bow in hand. Let's drink a couple of these, a couple of grief. Good grief! There we go, nice. I don't know what this dude is doing living in a haunted manor, but... Oh shit. You can really hear the sounds of the damned. Here, let's turn on Kajito vision. Jesus, I'm pressing wrong buttons left and right. Look, I don't even have the, enough Magicka. And I can't even drink any more Magicka pots. I've ran out! Can it be? Let's see. Have we truly run out of Magicka potions? No, we have a shitload. Here, let's F2. Look, I guess these must be a different brand. Let's see. Whoop, 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 whoop. And where are you at? There we are. Nice. Well, what the hell? Oh, there we go. Okay, jeez, maybe I was just pressing the wrong fucking button the whole damn time. <laughs> Classic. All right, let's see. Oh, where's this dude at? Where are you at, dude? Oh no! I thought there was supposed to be a guy here! Maybe we have to pop this open? Well, shit, let's try it. Maybe he'll get mad when he sees that we've picked the lock. He's like, You shouldn't have come in here! I'm masturbating! This is my jack-off place! Wow, it's very fancy! For a haunted manor. Oh! Hello? Hail, Dunmer. <laughs> Do you need something? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing here? I'm fine, thank you. What can I do for you? Mmm, you are fine. <laughs> Hello? Oh, is oh, this is the guy. Is yeah, right? I, I mean, look at my notebook. Yeah, Dram Barrow. This is the guy. All right. I take precautions to ensure that I am not found easily. I see I will have to take more precautions. But what can I do for you? Have I told you about the Vasir Dinadat Mine? Because, wow, I found a treasure there. The mine of Vasir Dinadat has been lost for many years. Would you perhaps know the location of this mine? Yeah, I'll tell you the location of the Vasir Dinadat. 
So, that is technically not in my jurisdiction, but I can still make use of this knowledge. I feel you deserve some compensation. What type of weapon do you use? Now, as before, we will say that we use bows, even though we never fucking do, because I want access to a Daedric longbow, and you know what? They can't spawn randomly off of dudes. So this is how we're gonna get it, this is how we're gonna do it, bam. Bows. I like to keep a distance from my enemies as well. Please, take this Daedric longbow with my gratitude. Now, on the contrary, my good man, I actually like to get down and dirty with my enemies. I like to get real fucking dirty. Alright. Thank you, uh, Drambaro. What, who, who are you? I don't get paid to answer questions. Okay! Well, see ya, everybody! Oh, shit! I'm kinda stuck here! <laughs> Fuck! Alright, uh, let's see. Sujama! Come on! Woo! Just enough! Wow. Hey, Drem, you don't happen to have- No, no, okay. Okay, you don't happen to have any Sajama around here. Okay. What about in here? You got any- yes, Who the hell are you? What do you want? Arvela Phallus. Ooh, she likes my outfit. What do you do? Nightblade and house cousin of the great house Lalu. Oh, okay. Well, look, I almost thought there was some cup stacking going on there. I was like, wow, I didn't even- <laughs> Wow. Alright. Oh, well, look, they got a poop bucket there in the corner. Alright, wow. Well, since we're in St. Ohms, let's quickly go and talk to, uh, what's-her-butt at the Underworks. Let's see. Alright, Underworks. Let's head on out. Let's see, I think we can get to the Underworks from the Waste Works, right? That's how that works? Fucking... Vivek, always such a damn maze. I like how they... Like, even in designing it, they realize, you know what, we've kind of crafted a horrific maze for the player to navigate. Let's at least let them know, hey, we agree, and had this dialogue on the, um, on the NPCs in which they say, Hey, this place is a fucking maze. <laughs> the canal works. I guess this is it. You can access the underworks from the canal works, right? Better not be some spooky dudes down here, because I'm carrying a big load of loot loots, and I'm not ready to get spooked. Let's see. Uh, magic. Sujama. Bam. The underworks. Yes. Awesome. It's quick save just in case someone comes down here and is like, What the fuck are you doing down here with all the woot loots? We can't even see. Kajito Vision, activate! Bam! Slaying rats! I'm the rat slayer. Alright. We got one one rat. Oh, is this Is it you? What can Kajito do oh. for you? Oh, a lot actually. Great! Sokai says to you, speak with Adhirania. And you have done this thing. You are speaking with Adhirania, but Adhirania will not talk to you about the Nerevarine or the Six House Cult. And because why? Because Adhirania is, at this moment, very distracted by a nice census and excise agent who also wants to speak with her. Ooh. But you are Adhirania. You have come from Caius, so of course he tells you about Adhirania, how she is a friend of Caius, and who does little things for Caius, and who is also a member of the Thieves' Guild. Not at all important, but very helpful and loyal to fellow guild members. Alright, census and excise agent. You do not know this? They are the collectors of the Emperor's taxes and tariffs, and the Emperor has outlawed trade in many things, like Duema artifacts and ebony, and a census and excise agent will enjoy being a pest about such things. For several reasons, a census and excise agent is not Adhirania's favorite person. If you want Adirania to help you, make the bad agent go away. Then she will tell you things. Mm. I don't know why she... She doesn't quite sound like a Khajiit, does she? But, nonetheless, we will help out. Let's see, we've asked about... Okay, yeah, we've asked about everything. Well, will you tell us... Perhaps your ears are clogged. I said if Adirania to help you, go get rid of this agent who is bothering me. Okay. Let's see. Where is this dude? Maybe I can do something to get rid of him. Okay. Hmm. Is he down here? 
Is he following you, Adirinir? Is this dude stalking you out? Look, another rat. Maybe that was him. He was a rat man. Oh, is this is this the person? Who the hell are you? It is truly a pleasure to see you. Oh, thanks. What the fuck? What is this? Let's just look in here real quick. We won't lay down a trade. What the fuck is this place? Oh no! This is the end of what? You, no, it's the end of you. Are you? Wow, we're. Wow, look, that guy's got a good weapon. Shit. And who is this dude? Look, he's got a crawl. <laughs> look at him go. Wait, yeah. <laughs> oh shit, I can't reach him. Oh no! Look, Sujama time. Now I'm ready to fight. I'm like old Popeye, drinking the Sujama, and I get buff as hell and ready to fuck some fools up. Wow. What the hell's going on in here? Can we... Is this Lord Dagon? Lord Dagon, I come to you with an offering. What do you have to say? Nothing? Okay. Shit. <laughs> well, uh, holy shit. I guess the, the Census and Excise guy is not here at all. Jeez. I guess, but we will be taking this back to uh, Balizra with us. Jeez. <laughs> Why not, huh? Oh, look. A, sang a belt of sanguine hewing. And another one. That yeah. Sanguine sure fight. A silver shard sword, however. Not much of an, uh, a thing for us to take. Look. Raylas Arothan. He's also got some sanguine uh, armor. We'll take that. Sure. And we will take his fancy schmancy sword that's going to actually weigh us down. So we won't take it yet. <laughs> Let's see, what do you have? Alright, yeah, so we'll take his sword, and you know what, we'll come back here. And we'll look for the census and excise agent. When next we come back, I'll have dropped off a whole bunch of woot loot at Balizra. We'll be ready to go around. Maybe we'll come back and we'll take some shit from old, uh, Mehrun's Dagon right here. We'll probably be back at the same exact place, that way I can search around some more, uh, on camera. Because you know what, I don't know what the hell's going on here. Maybe we can talk to this guy, because remember, last time we found a place like this underground... We could talk to him, and it was Sher Gorath, and he gave us a big quest. I don't remember how you get a quest from Lord Dagon himself. I don't know. Anyway, till next time! Peace!